Hi, I'm Dr. Landon Trost, and I'm an andrologist specializing in Peyronie's disease and male infertility at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Now, this video specifically explains the reasons why I developed a new technology uh, to help patients with this disease. Uh, the technology has been licensed to Pathrite Medical through Mayo Clinic Ventures so that it can be available to other medical providers. But I also want to highlight how this device works uh, to help address some of the common issues that we see with Peyronie's disease. Well, first off, I'm a very strong believer in traction therapy. Uh, there are many, many examples throughout the body where traction clearly improves an underlying deformity. You know, whether it's braces to correct misalignment of the teeth, uh, external fixators for correcting scoliosis or limb contractures, and really many, many more examples. Uh, the nice thing about traction is it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, you can do the treatments in your own home. You can treat as needed, and you don't need any, uh, or you don't get any long-term, you know, permanent consequences that you can sometimes get with things like surgery. Now, it's also one of the only therapies that can legitimately restore lost penile length. Now, for these reasons, I'd routinely recommend attraction to multiple uh, groups of patients, including those with Peyronie's disease, those undergoing surgery to place a penile prosthesis, uh, following a prostatectomy to help maintain penile length or really any other condition where men had lost length uh, due to some disease. Patients would then go and buy one of several devices available in the market and sold on the internet, and I started uh, tracking outcomes data. Unfortunately, the results uh, weren't as good as I'd expected and was really hoping for uh, for, uh, for my patients. In addition to not achieving the uh, desired outcomes, patients would complain about a lot of aspects of these devices. And some of those complaints included pinching of the skin and when they secure the head, uh, feeling like there was no real uh, traction achieved. Sometimes the devices would fall apart. Uh, occasionally they'd hear an embarrassing uh, cork popping uh, type sound um, as the device which was basically holding the head of the penis would slip off. Um, some patients complained that they had to wear it for nine or more hours a day. Uh, some said they needed three hands to be able to place the device and really many, many more uh, complaints like this. In addition, uh, results from our studies were also showing that the existing devices were just not doing a very good job. Here you can see I'm showing one of the graphs from one of our publications uh, that showed that even after extended use, uh, the traction devices just didn't seem to make any difference on curvatures. Uh, you can see some of these patients even used it for hundreds of hours, and still they didn't get any greater improvement compared to those who didn't use the device at all. Uh, we also found that as time went on, uh, people began to use the devices less and less. We found it was nearly impossible uh, to get anyone to use it for five hours a day, uh, especially for long periods of time. And after reviewing our data, I realized we needed to develop something better than was currently available. In designing the device, we purposefully included several specific features to address some of these problems. Uh, to fix the issue of painful clamps, we tried to mimic the same type of action that you'd get when you hold the head of the penis by the hand and stretch uh, to bend curvature. Now we spent a lot of time uh, getting this just right, including the optimal angles, uh, looking at the size and shape of the opening, uh, and other factors. We wanted to make sure that you could clamp the penis firmly while, while still making sure that it was comfortable. Now you can see from an in-clinic quality improvement study that we did, zero out of 15 patients that we assessed reported any pain uh, with just wearing the clamp. And when we applied traction, uh, people were able to use about five pounds of force comfortably. Uh, we did find that most men preferred to have some sort of wrap in place, and that's why we include that uh, self-adherent penile wrap with the kit itself. And finally, all eight patients who tried some other device uh, said they preferred this one to the other devices. Now, when you look at the graph on the right, you can see that uh, when we asked people specifically to compare the comfort of this clamp uh, and the device to other ones, 25% or two of the eight said uh, the one we developed was somewhat better and 75% uh, felt that it was much better. Now another problem we ran into with existing devices was that they simply just didn't provide enough traction uh, to be of any use. Um, also patients constantly wanted to know if they were using it right, if they were getting enough traction, and so on. Uh, the existing devices required the user to basically add rods while wearing the device uh, to lengthen it before attaching. Now, this was tricky. It seemed to require three hands to uh, secure the penis, to stretch it, to um, be able to tighten everything down. Uh, and then if you needed additional stretch, you had to take the whole device off and, and start again. Uh, the other thing was that the existing devices could only give about a half an inch of actual stretch. This made it nearly impossible uh, to provide continuous traction because the penis would stretch a, a portion and then it would, the traction wouldn't provide any more. 
Um, and other devices used uh, a suction cup to hold the penis, and this would often slip off with traction or when the penis was moved in any particular direction. Now, to try to fix some of these problems, we created a ratcheting type system uh, that allowed the user the ability to provide additional traction while the device was still in intact. And what we found, interestingly, was that within a few minutes of use, the penis would often stretch up to an inch or so. And we immediately had the opportunity, um, or even were required, to advance the device further to get more traction. Uh, this is not an option with any other device, and I think it, it helps explain why some of the other systems have to be used for nine or more hours a day compared to this device where you can use it 30 minutes twice a day. Now, a third major issue with existing devices is that they just weren't developed with Peroni's disease specifically in mind. With Peroni's disease, we know that ideally we want to be able to apply stretch focused on the specific uh, diseased area. Uh, current devices basically only offer traction in one direction, and our device was specifically designed uh, to be able to bend the penis in the opposite direction of the curvature. Uh, while it's being bent, you can also still apply traction, which applies extra force to that area. Uh, this also allows you to personalize the treatment uh, to stretch specific areas that need to be addressed. Uh, the device can be changed to provide bending up, down, left, or right. Uh, the clamp can also be adjusted so that you can uh, apply uh, uh, traction to the base, or middle, or end of the penis. Uh, and this kind of precision and control is important. I think this is likely another reason why this device only needs to be worn 30 minutes twice daily uh, rather than the nine plus hours uh, per day that other devices require. So in summary, uh, Peroni's disease is a very difficult condition. Uh, it can have very uh, significant side effects on men, including on their relationships and on older, their overall confidence. Traction therapy is one potential treatment which is commonly used. It offers several potential benefits, including ease of use, uh, fewer side effects, and proven efficacy with Peroni's disease. Now, since existing devices were not designed specifically with Peroni's disease in mind, and they had several major shortcomings, uh, we sought to develop a better solution. Now, our focus was on comfort, on achieving sufficient traction, on allowing the user to individualize uh, the maximal treatment zones, on the ability to uh, deliver counterbending forces, and to keep the uh, treatment periods as short as possible. And with that, I thank you for your time.